I was born and raised and lived in Lake Village all of my life. My childhood in Lake Village was absolutely wonderful. And in 1971, Mayor Jack Rhodes came to my house and said, I want you to go to work for the city of Lake Village. And I worked for Mayor Rhodes for 18 wonderful years. And then in 1989, he said, I am retiring. So then I had the decision, did I want to try to work for another mayor? Or did I think Mayor Rhodes had mentored me well enough and I had enough education about city government and the people of Lake Village? I had much encouragement, so I decided to run for mayor. The Lord blessed me and I was elected with 98% of the vote. The first thing I did when I became mayor is I traveled to Little Rock. I spent two weeks introducing myself to all the state agencies, and not only state agencies, but foundations like Winrock. When President Obama initiated the Stimulus Package Program, the National League of Cities advised me that I needed to have shovel-ready projects because you would probably be funded quicker than others. And we had shovel-ready projects. We got funded for a whole fleet of police cars, streets, the farmer's market, two sheep building. The city of Lake Village had been awarded $749,000. And then we had like five different partners that we used to renovate that building at a cost of approximately $2 million, which now houses all municipal offices. We were under four roofs, now we're under one roof. I know the first year the savings on energy bills, gas bills was $8,000. In fact, the director of NLC told me, for the size of your town per capita, you received more stimulus money than anyone in the United States. I believed in leadership from behind the scenes, whether it be employees, whether it be volunteers. They were the true ones that got the job done. And I will tell you, without the support of my family, I could not have completed my career as mayor. My husband, Bush, who is currently the mayor of Lake Village, my daughter, Whitney, she grew up in City Hall. I could not have done this without an understanding family. The advice that I would give to young women, young men, whomever, is if serving is beneath you, leadership is beyond you. I am so humbled and I will graciously accept this award and be honored.